Hey guys, this is Big Wood 707. Changed the channel name again. You know, first we started with, with uh, what was it, White Body Scat 520, and then we got the Hellcat, we went to Big Wood 707. Now it's Jeep Guy 381, because hey, we're into Jeeps now. So, you know, I change a lot of things. This is my 2020 Wheelies. I put Rubicon rims on her. Took these guys off. Have those sold. Those are the factory. Guys, these tires, these Firestone Destinations, unless you like the shit shook out of you while you're driving, you really don't want these. They're junk. These are for a Chevy, which I'm selling this weekend. And there's the other tires for the Jeep, five of them. Uh, you know, just sold them because I, I like the Rubicon rims better. So I'm going to try to find another Rubicon rim and put it on the back. The reason for the video today is, and guys, it's going to be a quick one. The reason for the video today is this camera right here. Now, guys, to take your spare off, you don't have to, to take the whole thing off. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is there's a little hex screw right here. And you will hear it pop and then have your hand on this and just pull forward and it will come straight off. It's that easy. It does not screw all the way out. Now, guys, none of these other Jeep guys will tell you that. I had to figure that out on my own. I went through about 20 different videos on YouTube, and none of those some bitches would tell you that you just turn this. I think it's one pop or two, and then just pull it, and it comes out. There's Dad's girl. There's Sugar Book. It's Dad's little girl. And to raise this, guys, to raise this, if you get a 35 from a 33, you know, I think they come with 33s. Usually that's what that's what uh, the Willies did. Uh, so <clears throat> to raise this, you're going to unscrew these two bolts. You're going to unscrew this bolt, this bolt back in here, this one over here, this one, and you got two on each side down here. Now, guys, I just loosened the bottom ones out about three quarters of the way or halfway so it would lean forward and then you're going to push you're going to take this little wire right here this is your brake light wire and you're going to pop it out of the see where see this little right here you're going to pop that out so it will it will automatically just pop out of there and then you can raise this up and that'll give you enough room see it's got plenty of room left it's not stretched hard at all but it raises it up to where you can put you just take it up one notch because that's all to go because if you take it up anymore it comes all the way out so you just take it up one notch yes yeah, dirty my hands are filthy but uh and then you raise it up and hey you're done good stuff easily done guys remember let's take these two bolts out those two loosen these bottom ones up so it'll fall forward and then you can raise this up and then take a screw and screw it in the bottom ones and then put everything back, screw everything back down. But to take this out, guys, it's two pops. One or two pops, and then you can just slide it off, and then you can take your spare off. So that's the easy way to do it, guys. You know, a lot of people say all kinds of shit and do stupid stuff. I got so damn anger, angry and aggravated, I couldn't stand it. So that's, that's the Willies. She's all right for now. We'll get us a Rubicon in about a year. I really like the new ones with the 12-inch screen, so that's probably what I'm going to get after I keep this for about a year. That's usually my agenda, isn't it, guys? Keep it a couple years, hey, then we'll you know, sell it or trade it. So, guys, I have all this stuff here on Facebook Marketplace. I will ship it to you. It's all for Chargers and Challengers. These are the, the strut covers. You. The billet strut covers and the American Brothers Racing strut covers. These are the billets. Very nice. And the American Brothers, which I like a lot better. I'll just tell you guys, the billet is not worth waiting to me. And they didn't use it. To me, they fucking suck. And they're way too expensive. I'd rather go with American Brothers and get something that's engraved like that is. You know, it's got the 392 on it. it. Looks pretty. Looks nice. These were never installed on my wide body scat pack or my Hellpack or Hellcat. So, you know, there's those. There's all the cars we've had, guys, over the past few years. So, 
that's those. Those are all for sale. Now this has a, a scratch from the, you know, from the strut bar, from Jezebel strut bar. But that that has three ninety two on it too. All this stuff is for sale on Facebook and and eBay. So it's all ready to go. I've already sold the three ninety two intake. It's gone, isn't it, sugar? And uh, so we got rid of that. Shipping it out tomorrow. That's what I should be able to ship it out. Maybe it's got the box and you know all the all the stuff that came with it. It's just simple. I got the. Everything comes with it as if it was new, you know, because it only kept on just a few thousand miles. And there's all the Jezebel stuff. If you guys be interested in that, let me know. It's all for sale. It's got the door hooks where you can set them in the door and, and keep the doors open. And then it also has the uh, has the strut bar that goes across the 392. It's not for a, for a Hellcat. Hey guys, here's the interior of it this surprised me same color as the car kind of kind of odd but i'm on carbon fiber all that shit up you know they make the same little kits they do for the chargers and challengers and some dumbass has set off their horn over in the church parking lot so but that's everything so far guys just wanted to touch base with you i know i haven't made any videos in forever have we sugar what are you checking out on sugar's looking at stuff but, you know, we haven't touched base in a long I apologize. I've just been really, really busy, been working, been trying to get back in the gym, been doing all kinds of things, guys. Uh, you know, with my son, he's, he's uh, been to California playing basketball. He's number 27 in the nation, Brock Woods. Watch for that cat. I'm telling you guys, he's going to go pro. You watch and see. He's about six foot nine now. He's, he makes me feel short. You know, I'm six foot five and a half. Very few people on this planet have ever made me feel short. And he's one of them. But, guys, thanks so much for watching. This is Jeep Guy, <laughs> 381, Big Woods. Give me a shout, guys, on any of this stuff you want. Remember, it's on eBay and it's on Facebook. So, if you want it shipped to you, just let me know. Guys, I'll send it out to you. You can do the Cash App, and I'll provide my uh, handle or whatever it is on there. And you can go ahead and send me the money, and I'll send it to you. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you for you watching. Have a good evening, day, night. Whatever you are, wherever you are when you're watching this. And I appreciate you watching. Have a good day. Thanks.